Hello everyone, I'm um, Zulu Charlie Fox. <laughs> it's my, well, I'm starting a new YouTube channel and uh, I thought I'd make a video about the Nightcore Digicharger D4 which I bought uh, a couple of months ago as an upgrade to my old uh, charger which is a power base c513 uh, charger which is primarily used to charge uh, AAA and AA batteries so I chose this because after reading stuff online I saw that for better charging or for longer lasting rechargeable batteries you need a minus Delta V um, charger so which this one is. Uh, I bought it with uh, two batteries included. I just can't remember how much. But then uh, I wa the limitation is that you can only charge um, two bat with this using two batteries at a time. So you can't charge on the individual slots or bays of the power base C513. So I bought the Nightcore as an upgrade so it can charge on individual base uh, independently instead of having to charge two at the same time so the other uh, advantage of having this charger is that it charges faster because it charges at a higher rate of 750 milliamps compared to the power base which only charges at 500 milliamps so it can also accommodate more types of batteries so this is li the power base is limited to nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium whereas also for sizes uh, sizes um, it can only accommodate uh, the similar form factor as a triple a or double a whereas a the d4 can accommodate um, see um, Lithium ion, lithium polymer, so eight, even 18650 18, batteries, so which are typically used for uh, flashlights. So the ones that uh, I'm becoming more interested in. So, uh, so this is you have your screen here, you have your battery base. You're a bit oversized compared to the power base because again, 18650 batteries are not the same size as triple A's and double A's so we have your buttons here at the side so you have a slot button and a mode button and on the other side you have nothing and on top you have the uh, socket and you have the um, DC adapter uh, plug no, socket. so yeah so let's put in some batteries so you put batteries you just have to push the negatives terminal down and then put in your batteries so uh, in this way so I'm using Sanyo and a loop batteries yeah. and then the different modes for your buttons are you push the slot to switch so there's an arrow which indicates which slot you are in so it's on the second one so you just move click click it to move from one to the other and then you press and hold it to turn off the backlight so it saves a little more power or if you're going to go to sleep and leave the batteries in you can do that without disturbing your wife or whoever while you are asleep and turn it back on press and hold again and then the second button which is the mode button you can ch change from the uh, change your view or shows this is the charge time this is the voltage and then this is the charge rate which is 750 milliamps okay and then if you want to charge at a lower rate i don't know maybe for conditioning battery or you have a lot more time so current charge rate is 750 milliamps press and hold the low indicator appears and you are now charging at 300 milliamps so then you turn it off you 
press and hold again and that's it so it's a relatively good upgrade from the regular chargers that you have available uh, in stores it's a bit more expensive it didn't come with any free batteries compared to the power base but uh, I think it's uh, a worthy investment especially if you are using different kinds of rechargeable batteries and not just AAA's A's or double A's yeah so hope you like this video um, and uh, hope you subscribe to this new channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video